Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use textures to sculpt. It's great for adding detail like dragon scales, wrinkles in this case, pores, uh, rocks and stones or maybe wood, anything where you want minute bits of detail. So let's go through the stages. First of all I'll create a new brush and call it texture brush. I'll call it texture brush 2 as I've already got one. So there's my texture brush 2, misspelt slightly. And go down to texture and add a new texture. Then we come over to our texture tab and try and find our brush here. There we go, brush texture 2. And we need to open a brush. So we'll go into my brushes folder just here and I'll click so I can see the thumbnails. They should be black and white images like this and you can see I've got elephant skin which I actually use for human skin, folds and creases, scales, wood, rock sculpting brushes and you can obviously get your own. This sort of image where it's got no border with black doesn't work so well because you can see the edges of the brush. I'm going to click on this one, so I'm going to do some wrinkles, and press enter, and there's my brush in there. There's two more steps. One is to make sure you're on the stroke method of anchored, so go to stroke and then anchored. And lastly, it doesn't work very well with Dyn Topo. You're far better off being in a multi-resolution modifier. This particular model has over 6 million faces, so you've got to find the subdivisions where you can get to that type of number. And of course it is dependent on your graphics card. But as you'll see, it works pretty well with this. So let's say I want to add some creases in here. He's already pretty creased up. I click and drag and then I rotate to go with the flow of the skin. So rotating moves it into the position and clicking and dragging like this with my left click will change the size. At that point I can then smooth out with the shift key. I'll do the same thing over here, drag and pull out and then smooth out where I don't think I need it. The other thing of course to bear in mind is the strength of your brush. So there we go, add a new brush, add a texture, add your texture image, make sure you're on anchored in the stroke settings and make sure your multi-resolution has enough subdivisions. Hope that helped.